So I thought I would give you a quick example. The proof that we did of Euclid's algorithm, I mentioned at the end, has implicitly in it an algorithm for solving the equation GCD of AB equals AX plus BY. So, but it's not obvious how to do that. And I thought uh, I would just do an example to show you how you might do such a calculation in practice without worrying too much about the details of how to connect it to the proof. So um, let, me, uh, let me work this out. So the example I want to look at is the case where A is 155 and B is 37. And we want to solve the equation GCD of AB equals AX plus BY. And we know that this is possible by our theorem. Um, but I wanted to show you how I would actually set this up if I wanted to do it in practice. So I would make a little table. And my table would have column headings Q, R, K, and L. And the first two entries in the R column are A and B, with the bigger one first. And then K and L columns start out 1, 0, 0, 1. And the Q column we're going to work on in a minute. And the thing to notice is that at each stage, we're going to be in a situation that at every, wherever we are in the row, K times A plus B times L is always going to equal the entry in the R column. So you can check that here. That here K is 1. So sure enough, 1 times 155 plus 0 times 37 is 155. And 0 times 155 plus 1 times 37 is 37. Now what is Q? Q is the quotient. So what you do is you take 155 and you divide it by 37 and you take the quotient, which is 4. 37 goes into 155 four times. And then you take 155 minus 4 times 37, which is going to be the remainder when you divide 155 by 37, and that's 7. So Q is the quotient of these two numbers. And then the next entry in the R column is this minus this times this, which is the remainder. And the thing you need to remember is this pattern. This entry minus Q times this entry, because you do that in all three columns. So 1 minus 4 times 0 is 1. And 0 minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. And then you can check that 1 times 155 minus 4 times 37 is, in fact, equal to 7. Now you repeat this algorithm. 37 divided by 7 is 5. 37 minus 5 times 7 is 2. That's the remainder. 0 minus 5 times 1 is minus 5. 1 minus 5 times minus 4 is 21. Minus 5 times 155 plus 21 times 37 does work out to be 2. It's always supposed to equal this entry. Now you repeat the process again. 7 divided by 2 is 3. 7 minus 3 times 2 is 1. 1 minus 3 times minus 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16. Minus 4 minus 3 times 21 is minus, so that's uh, 60, minus 67. And then you get that 16 times 155 minus 67 times 37 does, in fact, equal 1. So that's Euclid's general algorithm. What would Notice that the next row, if you did 2 divided by 1, is 2. And then the remainder is 0. So... Um, the next row here is going to compute 0. That's not going to be very interesting. If these numbers had a factor in common, if there was a GCD that wasn't 1, you would end up here, the last row before you get 0, with the GCD in this column and the x and y in that column. 
So uh, if you want to see if you can figure that out and make that work for you, you might also, if you want a challenge problem, try to connect this back to the proof of Euclid's algorithm to see where the ideas come from.